to have it. This is what you need to know about this case. Caucasian woman in question got arrested. They don't arrest Caucasian women on mother battery and all that shit. They arrested her. The officers came and arrested her. This is what you need to know about that Jonathan Majors case. What are you talking about? When she was drunk, lean, and like knocked out in his own closet. They like, showed the bitch. They got this? video of the bitch chasing him down the street. Uh, that was ridiculous. Right. I was like, okay, good. He's out. This is what you need to know about this case. How you hurt you chasing that man? <laughs> and it's so, it's so terrible when you think about it, but it's just you need to know what's happening. Mm-hmm. None of the evidence against the woman was allowed in the courtroom. Jeez. Oh. That's crazy. That's true. That's crazy. None of the evidence they had showing what she did was allowed in the courtroom. They said, we don't care what she did. Even though she got arrested, they didn't want to prosecute her. Dirty, dirty. No, I'm clean. How I'm coming. I can't show no mercy. Know what I mean. Know what I need. No, I got this for certain. Yes, sir. You just found it in the course with you. Let's chat. Yesterday, Jonathan Majors was found guilty of one misdemeanor assault charge, which includes recklessly causing injury and one harassment violation in the case with his ex-girlfriend who said he attacked her. Of course, you know, as uh, he left it in her, he left her in that car in excruciating pain and his legal team um, is sticking by that she was the aggressor. Well, within hours of the verdict, Marvel Studios and Walt Disney Company dropped him. Um, He was on track to become a central character named Kang, if you didn't hear. Um, He did make some appearances before in the Marvel Universe. Um, In Ant-Man and the first two seasons of Loki. Um, Anyway, and he was set to blow up big in 2026. They had already had, um, he was scheduled to do that movie, which was going to be solely based on him and this one character. What is that in his hand? Called the, the book. That, that, I mean, the Bible that he was carrying the whole time, and then, and then, of course, um, <laughs> right? That book's not doing a goddamn thing with them crackers. His lawyer said that Major still has faith in the process and looks forward to fully clearing his name. His sentencing is set for February sixth, and the maximum set for the assault conviction only is a year. So, all right, so y'all ready? That's for the this? max yep. he can get. Yeah, that's the max he can get for that. I don't know if they're gonna give him anything for everything else. That, I doubt it gets any time. That's the, that's the skinny this out there for the main but if you do the research on this Mm. everybody who has something to do with the law was saying I can't believe a misdemeanor was even brought to Mm. trial Mm. they say this stuff rarely Mm. makes it that's true it's like somebody wanted him somebody wanted to get him yeah no there's a guy who runs the office down there I can't think of his name Anybody who does the research, you, will you please put up there the name of the dude office what, like the who, DA? yeah, okay. who who made this happen? It's a Stephen A. Smith type nigga. Mm-hmm. That's Remember who I'm getting at? It's a brother. They hire niggas now what? to prosecute niggas to talk, <laughs> like Stephen A. Smith took more black men on TV. Yeah. But with Giddy, it's like, oh, you don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. They listen. This is what you need to know about this case. The woman got arrested. They don't even arrest women, especially. Talking about that guy? Hold on. I think that's him. I think that's him. Mm-hmm. What's the name? Alvin Bragg, Manhattan's first black district attorney. I don't know now. He's just one of them. Yeah, no, that's that's him. Manhattan's first black district attorney. Put there just like Obama was put there. Under Obama, they wrote a whole bunch of laws to hang people. 
Under Stephen A. Smith, you could talk about black men on ESPN, but everybody else gets due process or they his friend. Fuck. Now they hiring mm. these sellout Negroes to be in charge of offices. Let me tell you what's happened in this case. I don't like his look. <laughs> the Caucasian woman in question got arrested. They don't arrest Caucasian women on mother battery and all that shit. They arrested her. The officers came and arrested her. This is what you need to know about that Jonathan Majors case. What are you talking about? When she was drunk, lean, and like knocked out in his own closet. They like, showed the bitch. They got man. video of the bitch chasing him down the street. Uh, that was ridiculous. Right. I was like, okay, good. He's this is what you need to know about this case. How you hurt and you chasing that man? <laughs> and it's so, it's so terrible when you think about it, but it's just you need to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. None of the evidence against the woman was allowed in the courtroom. Jeez. That's crazy. That's true. That's None crazy. None of the evidence they had showing what she did was allowed in the courtroom. They said, we don't care what she did. Even though she got arrested, they didn't want to prosecute her. That's crazy. I didn't really follow the case like that. So my opinion on this is probably going to be limited. I really don't like speaking on things if I really don't have the information on it. But you guys let me know in the comments. Is that true? And don't get me mistaken. I wouldn't be shocked in the least if it is true. I just want to fact check. What the f kind of world is this? You know what they called her? The survivor. <laughs> they was calling the bitch the survivor in the courtroom. This bitch was dancing, wound up drunk where Jonathan Majors was supposed to be. So he went and got a hotel because he didn't want no drama. See, he did stay away from you, right? He didn't want no drama. And they found him guilty. Anybody who's been through the court system, you ain't surprised. You already know what the court system is. Court system hang you, dog. Lock your black if you ass got money, up. you normally can beat it. But if you in the courtroom, hope brother Majors is listening to this. If you in the courtroom, and you was fucking a Caucasian woman. Motherfucker, you ain't got no rights. I don't know. It's like, if all men don't learn. <laughs> it's like, I was thinking it. Like, when chasing. Why am I going to stop laying down with these women? <laughs> I was impressed. She was keeping up. She was like that's impressive because that's a tall guy with some long legs and she was keeping up he was booking and she was chasing him down and they went to court and they said that man was so where her charges what? that's called that's called cocaine I want to feel that him and I do <laughs> Cause she, she was crazy from jump. He seen that crazy coming. He seen that. Well, crazy. I got him because it, I mean it's not ridiculous. Her being she shoved in the car, right? Like something like that. Was that? They got him on like her being shoved in the car or something like that. No, she was that. she was holding on to him and he was like pushing off and he pushed her off into the car and ran away. And she got right. out of the car and started chasing him. Like I think he she had his phone right. in her hand. Right. He snatched his phone and pushed right. in the car and ran away from him. But that's but that's why they that's why they're they uh avoiding her because of the fact that she was Bruised and battered from being shoved into the car. Man, ain't no woman that's bruised and battered chasing after no man that she think can beat her up. That woman was of not scared of this man. <laughs> not by a long shot. A quick synopsis of what we just saw, right? Jonathan Majors was dating this, this woman. She's of the opposite color. Um... Obviously, he, she went out. The story is she went out. I said it like that. The um, opposite color. Why well, I said it like that? She's of the opposite color. <laughs> he, she went out, got drunk, 
he apparently was having a whole conversation with her. And upon having a conversation with her, you know, she felt like his tone was kind of crazy. And I thought they played a clip of, of him. He literally was like, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama don't act like this. And Coretta Scott King. So he saw himself as this revolutionary man. And he wanted to sort of preserve the perception that was about him, his household. And so she felt like she was being berated by him because he was giving her this speech that almost seemed condescending. And so that's some of the evidence that he's alluding to never actually got played um, in his actual court hearing. So the story is, I guess, you know, they were getting into it. He ran away. And in the middle of running away, um, she chases after him. There's footage of that. And none of those things got to be introduced in the courtroom. And so he was found not guilty of intentionally trying to harm her, but guilty of unintentionally trying to harm her. So with that said, go ahead, Renick. I'll let you take the spot first, brother. What is your you thoughts on the video? Are you letting me take the spot? I see my facial expressions. Is that what's going on? <laughs> what's that? Um, <laughs> this, is, this is obviously a, a discussion. I, when we talked about it initially, I was like, I got to get on that discussion because clearly I have experience with white women, but I also have ex experience with brown dark brown women i don't like for the ladies on the on the pod tonight i don't even like the term black okay because it doesn't come from us it comes from them i don't like that so i don't use it uh so i like to say brown to darker brown chocolate brown i've i've seen it all and before anything i'm a man who has a very 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 close relationship with my mother she's my best friend and I knew from day one of being able to understand it, that's a girl, I'm a boy, that like there's a difference between the two of us in many ways. And one way is that I am not to ever physically accost or even think about touching another woman in an aggressive way or a, a woman in an aggressive way. So for me, when I look at that story, I'm like, first and foremost, it's a woman hitting you in the first place, which you should have just been like, "Why are you hitting me? This is ridiculous. Uh, are you, are you out of your, are you out of your mind? Leave. I don't want to talk to you anymore. It's over. It's a wrap. And take your beating and go. Like, don't even, don't even, don't even try to turn around and and enforce your your strength or your manhood because your manhood means nothing to a woman who's ready to just go off on you and throw plates at you or put hands on you or whatever. This turn around and get up out of there. Now to even to even let that slide in your mind to, to, to have that reaction and to go even further with a white woman as a black man who is who stands over six feet tall and is muscular, like you're asking for you asking for people to, to look at you like a, the N word, you know what I'm saying? Like you asking for people to look at you like that, like in, in the first place, it's like <laughs> automatic, like I'm out of here. And whoever seen a, a white, a black man that big running away from a small ass white woman, like, or running away from a woman in general, like the way he was doing. So for me, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a very hot topic for me. I don't, I don't want to go too hard on, on where I, where I stand on it right now. I just want to go in a little soft, you know, with my first, uh, um, my my first dialogue to say, this is clearly an injustice. If you ask me, I, I don't like to take it lightly on my on my my fellow men. I just like to say, you deserve it because you put yourself in the position, especially with a white woman as a man who is a oh. dark brown tone. You oh. shouldn't be messing around with her in Bro. the first place. Second place, if you're gonna do that, understand your position in legal society. Exactly. Like, you gotta act different if you're gonna be doing that. 
You know what I mean? And and by the by the way, I'll let you know how you know how this whole uh, rhetoric is going around. Like, oh, you know, black women they too aggressive, too uh, demonstrative with their attitude, and blase, blase, right? If I'm if I'm not willing for any woman to be crazy with me and, and have attitude with me because I'm all about respect, if I don't get that from any woman, it's a wrap. So the fact that he allowed this woman, a white woman especially, and especially if a white woman talks to me like that, kick rocks. If if he allowed a white woman to talk to him crazy, and then you telling a white woman about what about what Correct. historical freedom fighter <laughs> civil and rights activist black women are doing and how she should understand it and know it and like live by it like like bible are you crazy out of your mind this man this man is clearly white a little whitewashed probably from childhood i mean you, you saw his 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 closet his shoe game was weird right <laughs> so i mean he might he might as well be chopping wood in the middle of wyoming you know what i'm saying like crazy like he just doesn't get it you know what i mean and unfortunately he does i, I do believe that he actually loves himself and loves like being you know who he is but he just doesn't understand certain dynamics of what it is to be who he is that's my position on it i mean it's a clear 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 case of i didn't think it would happen to me especially people who grow up around primarily white people they grow up thinking Okay, because I lived around those people and I grew up with them and I saw the nice part of them. These things can never happen to me. And this is but what my... When it dates white women, though, like, this is not one but of those the, things. That, right? that proves my point. I was trying to make earlier, we're not saying that every white person is bad or has bad intentions. But mm -hmm. you have to have some awareness that in situations that require them to act appropriately they may not because of their whiteness because this is why he this is why he ended up in this situation he thought it would never happen to him i'm a movie star i hang out with them all day we cool da, 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 da. and then here come this white woman seeing this tall dark good looking black man and for her you know she didn't love that man she didn't love that man that was a conquest for her that was a conquest for her. I'ma just say a lot of these white women chase black men like him. Yes. Black men have to stand okay. and realize that sometimes they don't have the intention to even be to wife the white woman. Whatever the case is, it's like, but I'ma just say from my experience, these white women love black men. For the wrong so, Exactly. It's for the wrong reasons. Okay. Was, no, I just think there's. I just think there's a. I think I just think there's, there's a, a common, dynamic between, black men and white women, mm -hmm. and on the opposite side of the spectrum, white men, and black women. Black men, mm. white women are willing to test the water. They're willing to step into the water. Even though someone said it's cold, they might say, but I might sit in that cold water and it might become comfortable because I'm able to adjust. But I'm not willing to not get in that cold water, especially if it means I got to get in it to get to the other side of the, the, the barrier, right? So, but black women and white men are alike in, in common in the sense of, they're not trying to test that cold water. Like if they do, it's like, they got to get a lot of like, cheerleading done like somebody <laughs> got to be behind them like yo he, he, look listen it trust me okay it's a great guy or this is a great girl like they gotta get they gotta get riled up they gotta get pumped up but black men are willing and white women are willing to try and figure it out right and it doesn't work out how's that been working than, out they're not you know what i mean but but this is but but that is I'm a firm believer that this is the, the, the reason that is the case is because of so of what we obviously are living with and what we have lived with in our history as people. Right. Like there's still a lot of 
growth that has to happen in order for that to even be able to be something that's feasible to the point where it's um, it's successful at a greater rate than a failure, right? Like we're just not there yet. They're like society, societally, we're not there, but we're willing to try and test it until we get there. You see what I'm saying? But like, I do agree with you that like, at the end of the day, you know, yes, I believe that we should be more obviously looking towards our women first and foremost. I do think as well that there is a responsibility in every man to identify the type of woman you want. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter her race, it doesn't matter none of that. You should be able to identify her before you make a step into marriage where you're giving everything you have to that woman because I'm not walking in with no prenup, no none of that because I don't want any negative energy that says we're not gonna be together or we might not be together. I don't want none of that. I wanna be like, this is my woman. She knows what it is. She knows I'm an alpha male. She knows I like to get things done. She knows I'm a provider. She knows I'm gonna be like, baby, I need you to hold this down. I need you to do this and da 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 da. And yes, I like a submissive woman. That's what I like. But I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna go up to an aggressive woman and be like, be my girl. No, I'm gonna let her live and find a submissive man. That's what I'm gonna do. Like, but I'm gonna stake hold to my principles. That's it. Let me ask I'm you not a question. gonna be a Jonathan Majors who goes away from his principles just because he wants to look good. So let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. In terms of temperament, are black women more aggressive than white women are? Seeing how naturally so, naturally (laughs) so. Come on, man. That's a stupid question. Look, no, there are different types of black women. But I don't even think that is aggressive. That when you say aggressive, black women are more passionate and more expressive. But you will see. In when it comes to when you see these conflicts between even with white women and their own men, they the way they when they're angry, the way they react is a lot more malicious and a lot more vindictive yeah. than black women. They are, and even with these black men that mm-hmm. that with get with these white women and they take them to court and they, it's like the football player that said, "Oh, black women rejected him when he was younger, but he has three white baby mamas, and they're all <laughs> taking him to court for every dollar that he has." The way that white women go about their stuff is more insidious and more underhanded than black women. So I think we're taking the personality and the passion of black women and making it that they're more aggressive when it's not necessarily aggression, you know? And we need to stop saying that as a community because white women be fucking up these white men. But you will never hear a white man call her, say, oh, she, she aggressive or she this or she that. We need to stop saying that about our own. Well, I Thank think you. I think it's I, I think she's right true. with the word aggression, right? We Thank you. Any, no. We don't want to use any negative connotative words, right? I get I get that. I think it's more or less like, and I and I want to because I don't want to segment. Listen, um, a side of human, we're being cute human, with this. The human race. I want to basically say we're being man, a little cute with but, this. No, I'm no, gonna be real, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not trying to be. Cute. I'm gonna be the first I'm to tell you, my cute. mother is Caribbean. And she's hella Likewise. aggressive. She's Likewise. hella aggressive. And I grow up in the Caribbean. A lot of the women are aggressive in Caribbean households. They they like to run things. They like to be in charge. They like to, you know what I'm saying, dictate how things go. And I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, I don't think that you, you lose anything by stating what is an actual fact. Because I'm from this community, I can say that uh, by far that that's the case. Now, I, I can't speak to other women. I'm sure there's aggressive women across the board. This is not to say that only black women are aggressive because that's not a true statement. But I'm just saying from a cultural standpoint, but Hispanic women are, be the case. Filipino women are aggressive, but you never no. hear. So let's talk about aggression, right? There's that aggression. Is the there's are you, women or women? Here, a come certain on, come on. Women, aggression, aggression has a negative, angry connotation behind it. You don't you think can be uh, assertive you, and people misconstrue it as being aggressive because right, you, don't think, you, don't, you don't think black women have a reputation? 
expectation of being a bit aggressive? No. I think it's mis it's mischaracterized. <laughs> I think things are mischaracterized. A lot of things. I I I, I okay. honestly I don't want to be cute with it. The reality is that if we can't be honest with our own reality, then we can't be honest with the reality that's surrounding be on us on a daily honest, basis. Man, come so, on. So the the thing I want to mention. Here I didn't is get this. to say anything. Well, the, I was the thing I, I was to mention here is this. You. We we're as a as a people as a people, we are naturally and justifiably aggressive, and it's not just the women; it's the men Fact. too. It's the men so too. We have to be aggressive, and guess what? I have two little babies who are uh, Israeli, uh, Polish, African, Hispanic babies, and guess what? I tell them: you have to be assertive. You have to be aggressive. Go after what you want. Don't take it any other way. Don't take no for an answer. You go for what you want. That's it. Like, I teach them that way. You know why? Because they're not going to get anywhere being passive. And they're not mm -hmm. going to be, they're not going to go anywhere not saying, I don't like that. Don't treat me like that. Don't do that. No. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to do mm -hmm. anything in this society not being aggressive. And we have to be that way. Unfortunately, we have to be that way. Black women have to be more assertive about what they want it is what it is like assertive. i don't take i don't take i don't take that for granted i love that different things though no. i'm not aggressive okay, right but right but, i don't but, want but, a, an aggressive partner to me but, i feel like listen. we're kind of getting off off the topic this is not a this is not a matter of yes the race played a part in terms of how things played out in that courtroom thousand percent but I, I don't feel this particular issue has more to do with whether or not it was just a white woman dealing with a black man. We're talking about celebrities. A lot That's of these celebrities, hear, hear what I'm saying. A lot of these celebrities have a mark on their back. If you're a celebrity or a sports figure, you have a mark on your back because you're viewed as the bag. There's a bunch of women plotting on you. That's not any different than a Britney winner who's plotting on the young boy that she could take advantage of. She's giving a master class on it. She's not, you know, she's <laughs> she's also a woman, you know what I'm saying, who's of the black diaspora. But she has demonstrated that once you become a celebrity, once you have something to lose, you are a mark. And we can focus in on just the race of the part of the thing, but I don't feel like that's what this is. Jonathan Majors was a mark, not just for white women, not just for black women, but for all women. Anybody that has any type of means, someone's going to try to figure out a way to take your means away from you. If Jonathan Majors was a broke, busted and disgusted dude in Baltimore or in New York or somewhere in the inner cities, this wouldn't make national news. It would be expected. Well, by There's way, a lot of people guy. going through that. Yeah. To me, the reason why this is making national news is because he has something to lose. That's the point that Corey Holcomb was making in the video. He was essentially saying, like, when you're a man of means, sometimes you could beat this. But there are some factors that even trumps what means you have. The white and black factor trumped whatever means he had. It becomes that much harder for him. But the point here is there are some people who are takers. They're there to take from you. This is a man that lost. He lost his opportunities, his career. He's gotten dropped by his sponsors. His whole life is ruined. Okay, so in this, you're, all right, you said it's not black and white. So why is any of his, we're having a discussion. We obviously see that there was oh. Injustice happening. No, and this the racial element no, is a no, factor hold here. On, hold on, but I'm I don't saying, think that should be the main focus. Okay, is what I, I'm saying. I agree with that. However, to your point, why is his sponsors and all the people dropping him, not looking at him and judging him, saying, "Hey, this is not a case of this man is a man beat woman beater. This is not whatever. She clearly played a part in it. This is just a." A domestic dispute between two people and an aggressive female and a man in in who? Why is no one 
it comes back again to as much as you want to say race doesn't pay a part. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you an example. Who make these decisions are white people. They're Tama, white. I'm gonna, Tama, and they're Tama. dropping him from his movies and his stuff because at the end of the day, they're gonna stick with their own. That is a fact. But I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you an example. There was a football player who used to be a running back for the Baltimore Ravens. Right? He was, I think his last name was Rice. He got into an incident with his woman, who was a black woman, in an elevator where they was literally fighting each other. He knocked her out. I'm talking Just about Jerry NFL. Rice. No, not Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice played for no. San Francisco. Yeah. He was, he's, he, he was, in, um, <laughs> no, like his name Rangers. was, like, I think it was like, I don't know if it was Ray Rice, but he was a running back. He was a short running back, stocky dude, real, like, he was good. He was a great player. But the problem is the optics. If I sell a brand and I'm aligning myself with people who are brand sponsors, and now that person has negative publicity, there, the fear is that the negative publicity will be transferred over to my brand. And it's going to affect my bottom line, my sales. Why am I paying a guy millions of dollars if he's not going to translate in moving the products that I'm paying him to move? And if there's a bad perception on him, a, a cloud looming over him, it doesn't reflect well on the brand. So that's the reason a lot of those brands decided they were going to drop Ray Rice. In the no. same way, Jonathan Majors has a lot of bad press happening with him right now. But the and bad, not just no, the no, 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 no. The not racial element is a factor in this. I am saying that it is. But I am also leveling it up to say, I think there's also the part that because he's a celebrity, a man of means, a man who is on an upward trajectory, that's not something that makes him only susceptible to the wrath and the plots of a white woman. <laughs> that's something that makes him a target for any woman who's an opportunistic person seeking to drain she, that man of anything. She's so actress of her own right. She had to, what was he going to offer that she couldn't get her own self? He's now dating Megan Good. Celebrities date their own kind. So what is the Listen her? to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Okay? You have Johnny Depp and his white crazy ass lady he was dealing with. And and guess what? She was in the courtroom making allegations that had no racial element to it. But there was a celebrity there and there was a woman making an allegation against a celebrity, whether that woman was white, black, whatever. The fact was the perception of that person was under attack. Yes, I am saying to this, there's a racial element. Once that situation went into court, once those jurors was picked out, the racial element was the undertone of why the outcome turned out the way that it did drastically. But in the same way we could say what we're saying, you got Tory Lanez and Megan and, and Megan the Stallion. And that dude serving 10 years in jail. And people say he ain't shoot the girl. He's serving 10 years in jail. That's a black on black thing. The point is, I only made the comment about white women going after black men because of the whole interracial dating thing. A lot of times, you know, yes, black men. I, okay. I feel like they chase after each other, but I was really just trying to support and saying that not in all cases are, are black men chasing to be with a white woman this is, is just this a matter is why of you're justice. going there this i don't understand why you're saying this chose to date this is a matter of justice i feel like we're straying from the injustice of someone made an allegation the man himself took measures to remove himself from the false allegations that was being made and we're focusing more on the the race of the two people, more so than we're focusing on the fact that there was an injustice <clears throat> done. The injustice but, was the fact that this man was not being abusive to this woman. He ran from the threat. 
but the key the key point there the key point there i think i think i'm not speaking um um in totality for the the women i'm just saying that i agree with them but to a different extent and to a a a, a different um um degree to where it's like you shouldn't have put yourself in the position in the, in the first place and the first place can be stick with your stick with your women stick with the women that yeah. love you I disagree. Stick with the women that know where you're from. Bro, hold on, hold that. on, hold on. Stick with the women who who know you, who 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 understand Bro. the d- dynamics of what makes you who you are. Stick with that. Or if you're not going to stick with that, be intellectual about your dating experiences and who you let into your sphere of energy. Do not let just any random woman in okay. there. Okay. And if you're gonna and and if you do do that, then it goes to the next level of just be a damn responsible adult if something's happening to you that clearly isn't okay i agree from another well, human, well, let me say this supposed let to me love say this. you you leave it's that easy the point is is that yes i believe that from there was what an injustice i just heard there, and that oh. hold on i believe there was an injustice there that he suffered in that court case yes because he shouldn't be convicted of what he is right but the reality of the situation is if you didn't even engage, we wouldn't be having this conversation. He we wouldn't be up. having this conversation. I okay, I disagree. And let me say this: this is why I disagree. I think some of the argument that's being made here is sounding a little hypocritical. <laughs> As two men who <laughs> dabble and de- date with different women of different race, for you to be like, "Well, he shouldn't have," uh, you know. Let's not get into. No that's not what I said. No, that's not that's what I said. Wanting to dip your listening. toe in the pool. And if he was on his cast, I think he wouldn't be listening either. Because I didn't say none of that. Stop said, trying to dip your toe in the pool. You see, this is what I'm saying. See this what it the, feels what like. Said. I never said that. I never said that. You weren't listening to what I said. Because if I didn't say, I didn't. If he's quoting about Coretta Scott and all this stuff and Michelle Obama to her, then that means that's what you wanted. Why would you go there to find something that you is white not? women to do that? Then that's why I said sometimes the white women chase these men. Of all of this, you go date a black woman, Megan Good, which you could have done all along. But he probably ended up with her because she was. In his DM or whatever. That's what I'm trying to say. These white women. The, I, that, look, I, I had some of them confess to me in the military that, oh, I just want his babies because I, I want brown babies. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> he, and she had the audacity to say this to me and thought we could relate. And I'm like, whoa, wait. Oh my God! Said, let me man, come. I let never, me reel it back. I never said that you you shouldn't date outside of your race, and never said that you should only date in your race. What I'm saying is, if you decide to date mm-hmm. in general, you have options. You can make sure they have good intentions. You can date a normal chick this goes, or crazy chick. This goes back to the point that I was making from the, from the first video and even into this segment. Let's start dealing with people on the basis of their character. To me, what I feel the issue here is we're not judging low character women for being low character women. There are low character black women. There are low character white women. There are low character Spanish women. There are low character Middle Eastern women. There are low character Asian women. Low character is low character. It's the same thing. A woman who would accuse a man running away from her of assaulting her when she was the aggressor and got arrested for being the aggressor is a low character woman. They don't have nothing to do with Mm -hmm. whether or not she's a white low character woman, a black low character woman, a Spanish low character woman. She's just a woman of low character period. It would have been laughed off if it was a white woman. If you had seen a black man running away from a black Mm -hmm. woman, the black community been laughed at off. They wouldn't even have given, they wouldn't even have made it to court. All I have to say to you, all I have to say to you is Tory Lanez to dead that argument. Tory Lanez went to jail for more than just shooting Megan um, to shooting me. Stallion. All I have to say to you is Tory Lanez. This is a... Okay. That's all I gotta he say. Went, this went, notion that black women would never lie and they would never do anything to sabotage no, that's not what she's saying. That's not, that story's a that's little different. That's not what I'm saying. That's that's not what I'm saying. That's what not I'm what saying, saying to you is what I'm saying to you is the same thing existed 
with the Tory Lane situation, low character. The same thing existed in this situation, low character. What I'm saying to you, to me, I feel like this is a relevant situation because it highlights certain things within the justice system. The justice system is supposed to seep through all this bullshit and just look at the facts, not look at the optics about how things look, but look at the actual facts. That man should have been exonerated for not assaulting that woman. But in fact, the justice system actually put his ass, you know, in a guilty position for assaulting that woman. He was making the point that this went from a, what should have been viewed as a misdemeanor to him being on trial. See, to me, it's like, what do we choose to focus on when we look at these things? From the moment, at any, and this is, by the way, all across the country, and you already know this. I don't got to tell you this. You're, come on. You're a man. You know this. The minute a, a woman can hit you with a bat, the minute you hold the bat and you shove it, and she, you're she's holding on to that bat and she falls to the ground, you're fucked. Like, you're, you're going to go. They're gonna come and get you. Dude, you could be missing. Listen, listen, you could be missing a tooth. The if they call the cops and they show up, that woman won't have nothing. Away. That woman won't have no bruises. Running. You're going. They take. I you. disagree with so, you personally. I don't even know if he put the bruises on her. He ran away okay, and slept in a hotel. Is, bro. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the woman has the upper hand. You know that. Why are we arguing that? Listen the to woman me. Has the upper hand in the system. Listen to me. So listen. You, so the, the the key is here is don't even engage. Disengage. Renick. Like he did not engage. He ran away he and shoved slept her in a hotel, the hotel, bro. She got arrested. Okay, but the point I, is, I didn't is see that, that part on record. It's hey, on Zoe, record that he shoved her into the car. And by the way, he stated that he did that. He stated it. He said she was attacking me, so I shoved her to get her away from me, and she f shoved in the car. He stated it. From then, it's over. It's a wrap. You put your hands on her. The, they have, and I don't agree with the process of the system here. I don't agree with it. I feel like if a woman puts her hands on, her hands on a man, if it's a first encounter, she should go. But that's not the way it is. So you got to. So why did they him. arrest her and not him? Man, because of the simple fact that he was running away and that there was no statement of him actually hitting her. Okay. So, so what they did was. You're actually proving my point. She no, got no, no, arrested. I'm not actually. Because you're not letting arrested. me get to my point. Hold on. You got to let me get there. So when. Once they arrested him, or arrested her rather, right? And by the way, she wasn't arrested; she was detained. Okay. Once they detained mm -hmm. her, both of them, it was basically like, we don't know what the heck happened here. We got to look at this. So no, nobody's uh, um, sky free here, at any at any point until we figure it out within the justice system. That's how it went down. He wasn't charged with domestic violence. She wasn't charged with domestic violence. They had to figure it out. So. Nobody was technically arrested. It was just a detainment to figure it out. But he stated that he shoved her in the car, which he shouldn't have stated in the first goddamn place. But he did. This video just showed this video that the, the account that they gave said that certain information was not allowed to be brought into his trial. So no video, no footage. So the jury who was making the decision on the outcome of this man was not allowed to know the facts of what happened in this. And this is what I'm saying. This Just focus, white woman tears of this man, exactly. humiliating her. So race is a factor. Race is a factor. I have acknowledged. I have acknowledged that race is a factor in this process. I've acknowledged that. But what I'm saying is, we can focus the conversation solely on race, or we can focus the conversation on a justice system that's supposed to be fair in trying these cases as well. Yes, race is a factor, of course it is. But my point to you is the fact that there's evidence that would exonerate this man and it wasn't even brought to the attention, it says that all men should feel like they're in danger. Anybody can make an allegation about any man or anybody and we don't even have to look at the footage. We don't even look at the proof. They can be found guilty on circumstantial evidence. And they can't even introduce stuff to exonerate themselves. This is why people should be concerned about this. It's the fact that this man, I don't know the fullness of the story. The bits and pieces that I got, the, the, the footage that I've heard was him talking in a calm voice and saying to her, we should be holding ourselves to a higher standard. Why are you coming here drunk? You know, I want to be perceived in a certain way, like these people, 
as if these people were role models for him. And he was essentially respectfully disagreeing with the way that she presented herself. That's how that came across to me. And then it seemed like there was some, some sort of disagreement between them. And the man had enough knowledge to run away and literally book a hotel and spend a night in the hotel away from her. Now, that's not to say that there wasn't some effort where she might have attacked him. And in the middle of him trying to get away from her, that she hurt herself because he was never found to intently hurt her. He's being found right. guilty. He's being found guilty of essentially unintentionally hurting her. He's not being found guilty right. of intentionally hurting her. Which, so right. to me, which these, is, these are which factors. Is why that's, which so is when why you make the, the point, when you make so the point that he, yes, it's egregious. Yes. I, I, however you look at it, it's egregious, right? What you're trying to get across, and and what I'm receiving from it, we all agree. Okay, we're all in agree agreement here. We're just all stating certain things that we're passionate about being a topic of discussion right? Mm -hmm. The topic of discussion of race, it factors yeah. in, it's a big deal. The fact of discussion of injustice in the justice system towards men, it factors, it's a big deal. The fact that the matter of not knowing who you're dating and deciding to choose to go outside <laughs> what you should be dating, big factor. And that's not about just race, it's about just who, <laughs> who identifies with you, who identifies with you. Exactly. What are you doing just dating a woman just to date a woman? Right. That's, your status is not going to make me date you. The fact that you're white and whatever isn't going to make me date you. Like, what are you to me? What you what do you bring to the table for me? The, but I so like, like you said, the injustice. Men there, need to make better the day, choices. The, the better choices, and the big deal is the fact that there's no emphasis on the fact that the man technically has no rights when it comes to these circumstances. That's Clearly. my point. Yeah. And that's and my point. That's what that's talking that's, about stuff that doesn't matter. And it's about the rights of a man. See, it's what do we choose to focus the conversation around? What I'm it saying all is matters, man, though. Right. It no, all this, matters. This, this, it's not the yeah, it's all not a monolith. Practice. It can exist by itself. We have to figure out why is men don't have any right. rights. You got to look at the big picture. You got to look at it at, at, at its at its the whole pie in order to even see point. one piece of the pie. You got to look at the whole thing. Like you, you guys are right. There's different factors in this. There's a race element. There's a gender element. Because there's a whole notion of believe all women. Any woman can make any accusation about you. And as a man, you have, even if you have evidence exonerating you from what they're, what is being alleged of you, you're still going to go under the jail. So there's a race element. Yeah. There's a gender element. There's an injustice element, the fact that the justice system was not fair to both parties here, in a, even allowing certain things. Everyone is correct about making those statements. As we talk about these things, we who have a voice in this country, and we are people who, you know, can speak intelligently about the situation to understand right from wrong. And for me, what I feel like is, is it okay for us to take the position that the court system is not a really a place where you can expect to get justice from. Hell no. Hell no. I mean, that's that's known. Okay. You, right. you can hope on for the it. same end of it, you gotta you gotta see you gotta see you gotta see the passion for what it is. And your passion is is very valuable and validated, obviously. But so is the passion of these two beautiful women on the other side of the spectrum who are coming from a space that's mm -hmm. saying look, we like to protect our own. We like to protect who we are necessarily. And they're saying that from, from the, the dynamics of which they have lived and come from, it doesn't look anything like this when it comes to interaction with a man, especially a man that looks like them. I right? disagree with like, that. No, no, no. I disagree and, and hear that. me out when I say that. Hear me out when I say that. Is that to say that I'm not going to, first and foremost, I'm not like, I'm not going to go chasing after no man and be calling the cops talking about he beat me down. Like, there are women who will do that, who look like us, yes. But it's not 
anywhere in the realm of a Caucasian woman. I'm telling you right now, it is it's on record. Right. You can women. look up the, the statistics on it. The Caucasian woman is going to be more willing to do some stuff like that at the end of the day. But it, it goes back to my point of know who you're dealing with. You got to figure that out and you got to take your time. Yeah, but to me, I feel I'm like taking, you... I, I'm, there's something I'm taking my time with, and you know what I'm talking about. It's the same. It's the same thing there. It's question. just relax, take your time, and let it happen. Don't you got to see through some things. You got to figure some things out. Clearly, he didn't figure nothing out with her because he's talking about Coretta Scott King. And, but that was not to mention. What the heck is point, going on? I just want to make a quick see. point. After you, Zoe. Yeah. Not to mention, everything happens to people for a reason. If you're gonna say me, there's lessons to be learned. Your woman is went out, got drunk, was kissing on somebody she shouldn't have been kissing on, and you, as a man in a relationship, have the right to tell her that is not the behavior you expect of your woman. And you're That's quoting that. Coretta Scott and um, <laughs> think she cannot identify with. Then why are you with her? If that is that is what your image of a woman the class of a woman you want and the woman you need to be with, why were you with her in the first place? That is what I'm saying. He put himself in a situation that he didn't need to be in because maybe one, he thought, oh, it's a white woman coming after me. Why don't, you know, it's a new thing. Let me try it out. And then he ended up here. This woman was crazy from jump. Learning from your mistakes. What is to be learned from what you just went through and now you're doing a year or whatever? Tory Lane, same thing. What What's the lesson to be learned? Right. Because it happened. I mean, we can't undo it. Right. Right. And and the truth of the matter is, is that you can't, you cannot create a scapegoat from right. men who look like us and put, being putting themselves in these situations. You have to be brutal about it. Brutally honest I mean, to say, and say, but I think there's on, certain lessons here. Be honest and willing to say, look, uh, like at the end of the day, we have to be able to be honest with each other, just like just like we're honest with our kids. I don't let my son get away with nothing. I raise him to because I want him to be a solid man. I want him to be a man who stands on ten toes and who honors himself before he honors anyone else. And when he messes up, I give it to him raw hardcore i don't put nothing to the side so in this essence i think it's the same way we have to be with each other to say my, my good man you messed up you shouldn't have been with that woman you should always always be around people who want so to now i'm gonna ask you, you question you, who want to who want to be patient with you who are not going to yell at you who are not going to treat you bad who are told going to my son you I told my son, when a woman puts her hands on you, That's it. leave. Don't be with that leave. woman. I'm going I'm I'm to ask you a question. Because you, not getting into your personal business, but obviously you started this conversation by saying that you have uh, kids that are of mixed race. So then under this notion, why would you choose to make that decision? You're talking to me, right? Yeah. Because I wasn't thinking about, oh, it's a white woman or all that extra stuff. It was for me. It was about what made me feel connected to that person. To that person, like I said before. Okay. It is not about. It is not about anything but your connection to that person, how they make you feel, and sometimes, by the way, sometimes. So how are you questioning why did he choose that person when he should have been with this person? Hold on, because guess what. Never, ever, ever has the woman who I had kids with ever put her hands on me. Ever, it's not happening. And if it ever, yeah, happened, but he probably could have said the same thing, bro, up until I that put point. Put my hands back on her. But guess what would happen? I'd never talk to her again. Facts. Okay, so I'd be like, these are our kids. I love them, but it's that's it. We're not having anything to do with each other though, because I do not take any type of physical activity. And I, and Me and I you agree with that. Thing. I've been in a similar situation. Anyone who puts their hands on you. What I'm simply saying to you is the following. We need to go back to making this about the character of the people that we're dealing with. It's burned him. The decision has, has burned him. But I don't think that 
her poor character is unique to her to her color. I think her poor character is unique to her. Because there are a group of women who would never do that. That's fine, but her decision, but her decision making can be unique to her color. That's a fact, man. There's societal pains and struggles and history that has made it this way. It's not necessarily her fault, right? Like it is what it is is she's going to do different things and make different decisions because of how she was raised and who she was raised around. You can't do nothing about that. So in the sense of Jonathan, let's say Jonathan, if he's from, if he's from the hood, first of all, he probably wouldn't even be going there to that situation, right? Mm-hmm. The majority of them don't go there. And if he was, he'd probably be like, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm right. getting about here. Like, with the but that's what he did, bro. That's literally what the man did. He ran he, from her. He didn't he, run because he was afraid of her. He ran because he knew the optics looked crazy. He knew it. Th- th- he literally did what you're advising him to do. What I'm saying is that you cannot, you cannot, you can't, you can't make this just about her as a human. Mm-hmm. That's, you, like that's unfair to. That's unfair to. Well, here's history, what I'm saying. Right? That's because you know. History. Look, you know what I think? Look, so, you know what I think is unfair is I think it's unfair to say, yeah, he may have had, I don't know what the situation was, but what I can see by the information that I have, because I don't no one has the fullness of the story. We weren't there witnessing it as it was happening. We're just getting tidbits and pieces of it told to us. The part of the story I got was. Footage of this man running away from this woman because he didn't want a confrontation. The part of the story I got was this man literally booking a hotel just to keep himself away from the drama. That's not, no, you're not. But okay. You're the whole recording with the Coretta thing occurred before the car thing. He knew yeah, she was like this before people. it got to this point. And he exactly. Exactly. It's, you You're missing all of this. Exactly. There were things before it got to Thank this you. that indicated that she was local. Hold on. But so also, let me ask this question. Here's, what the was surprise. here's the f- surprise, Mr. B. Race is always the first thing. And, and the, the way the justice system is, the way the situation came about, is, so it's gender. usually the so common denominator. Gender. Okay. So is, so. so is gender. See, this is what I'm saying. We don't even put that into perspective. So, so is gender. Because to... obviously, I don't black agree with and gender. Black women are going to get the shorter end of the stick, even though white men and white women commit more crimes than you. And that's facts on the FBI website. They do. But we get higher rates no matter what it is. So it, at the end of the day, regardless of the sex, black, female, black, male, when you compare to other races, we get hit harder for the silly shit and you will see the police running around trying to tase the white person where with us they draw guns immediately race is a factor race, race is, is a, a factor, factor. Okay. Also this. Woman yeah. woman. but this another factor in this situation is also gender it's this notion that you have to believe all women, even when you can prove evidence to show that the, all know, women that is, is not, not telling the truth about the situation. That is not true. You know, it, that is not you're, true. You see you're telling me gender problems. is not a factor in this? It's not true. Because I don't agree. You see with all these re- college races, you don't think gender is a factor when the in young this. women are white, the black mm-hmm. athletes get torn in jail for them to come years later and say they lied. But when a black girl comes out and say, oh, she was raped, why were you in that situation? Why were you there? You should have known better. And that is fact. That is that fact. Wasn't the, that wasn't the fact for Mike Tyson. They believed her. Wasn't the fact for Mike Tyson. It was a black woman that came to Mike Tyson house, knocked on his door, and alleged he raped her. And his ass went to jail. That shit wasn't unique to black women or okay. unique to white women. You're no, taking no. the one person out of the majority no, 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 and making it the thing when the majority you? of no. these cases Listen are white me. women against black men and Listen the black guys are always getting the, 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 the wrong end of the stick. Listen to me. The majority of rape cases where there is injustice is a white woman making an allegation against a black man. Listen I'm to me. I'm actually on your side. Listen to and me. And then they come out and say they were lying. 
just rare it's when you see a rape case where a black woman is saying a black man raped her. Outside of there's my a cats, whole so campaign. Do... There's a whole ca- there's plenty of examples of that. My there's point a whole is, campaign. you can list the white ones off at we the top live, of your head. The black ones you're gonna. We have to live in the Me Too movement. And there's a whole campaign. Which was hijacked by white women. So that doesn't even valid. That's invalidating it. Because that was Listen hijacked by white women. <laughs> <laughs> you see how this conversation constantly changes? We live in a Me Too movement where the whole slogan of that movement is believe all women. Not innocent until proven guilty. Not let's assess every situation individually based on the facts and the evidence presented. But now we live in a society where any female can make an allegation about a man and despite him having proof to exonerate himself you have to believe all women this that that's also undertone to this situation as well we can make it about everything else we can make this a racial issue but it's also undertone in this situation i don't disagree Thank you.